Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew, coming to you from the beautiful Carolinas. Today's topic is going to be, I don't want to talk about that now. Think about that for a minute. Everyone, if you like the content, please like, subscribe, and share. So when somebody says that to you, I don't want to talk about it right now, what does that mean? It means that they don't have the time to talk about something or they're not prepared to talk about something. However, most likely they will talk about it with you at a later date and they will arrange a meeting or a conversation to take place to discuss what it is you want to talk about. That's how it usually goes, right? But does it go that way with the narcissist? No, it does not. Why? Because many times you will hear these exact words, I don't want to talk about that now, from the narcissist. Because why? Because most likely you have caught on to who they are or are catching on to them. To them. Perhaps they displayed some poor behavior. Perhaps it was a rage fit. Or perhaps they were having you doubt your sense of reality, gaslighting. Maybe they were stonewalling you. Maybe they were doing so many other things. Financial abuse, who knows? But they don't want to address these things. They don't want to be accountable. So many times they will say, I don't want to talk about that now. And what that means when they say that to you is that they need to prepare for an excuse or for a reason for their poor behavior. And many times this conversation that is scheduled to take place later on in the future will never happen. Why? Because in the interim of you saying, hey, I want to I want to talk about this. And they're like, I don't want to talk about this right now. When that happens, then they're like, oops, something's gone wrong here. I need to fix this quickly. Maybe they'll give you a little breadcrumb of the love bomb. Maybe they will change the topic. Maybe, maybe you will get word salad. Maybe you will experience blame shifting who knows, maybe this topic will never be addressed again. Maybe it will be addressed and the person who turns out to be a narcissist will be like, of course I wanna work on myself, of course I wanna change, I think we should do A, B, and C, and X, Y, and Z, and things like that. And then you're feeling all confident, you're like, oh my gosh, I finally got through to this person, this is great progress, right? Not so fast. You see, they just did that to make you feel better that in fact that you got your message across to them when in fact they have no intention of changing or being accountable. In other words, they gave you lip service. They just said what you wanted to hear. And, and they know that they're not gonna change. What they're gonna do is weaponize that against you again at a later date. So again, let's flip the coin with a healthier individual. When they say this to you, I don't wanna talk about that right now. Maybe maybe that means that, that they are coming up with a, a reason to discuss it with you rationally. And what they're probably doing is saying, yeah, you know, I made a mistake. Let me process this. Let me think about what has happened. Let me be accountable and we'll talk about it when, when we can get a good time. That is one way. Another way is perhaps someone is just actually busy. Like maybe it's the middle of the workday and they, they actually can't talk. I get that too. But in both of those situations or um, examples, if it's a healthier individual, when they come home at night, as an example, they will sit down and say, hey, let's go. Let's turn our phones off. No distractions. Let's talk about it. Let's figure out what is going on and let's get on the same page. Let's connect. Does the narcissist do that? No. Does the narcissist say, how was your day? Of course not. Does the narcissist expect you to ask them how their day was? Absolutely. Remember, the whole world revolves around the narcissist. That's what they think. You are just a pawn, a puppet. You are just a, a an extra in their little pea brain Hollywood movie. That's what your role is. Whether you were married to them or not, that's what your role is because the narcissist believes they do not do anything wrong and they have nothing to be accountable for, which is why many times when you are in the relationship with the narcissist, you will get to the point of like, wait, I think I'm gonna make a breakthrough here. I think I can actually get my message across. I have evidence, here's a text or here's something. And they're like, I don't wanna talk about that now. And then what happens? Exactly, like I said, you get maybe a little bit of a, a love bomb or a breadcrumb of hope or something, or, but they're not gonna be accountable. You see, the narcissist is incapable of change. All they do is go from person to person, relationship to relationship, manipulating people, taking from them. And many times the people they take from are not only empaths, but they're people that are perhaps at a weak or vulnerable spot. Example, maybe that the person that they're with needs a job. And so there, there's the workplace bully coming in to hammer the narcissist. Maybe they're an empath. Maybe they just got out of a relationship and they're looking for love again. Maybe they're new to the neighborhood or the community. There are so many reasons why. Maybe they, maybe they just joined the class and they're a new student in the class and the narcissist is like, okay, no problem. This one's gonna be easy. The thing is, is 
I don't want to talk about that now. Whenever you hear that, pay attention carefully. If whatever it was that you wanted to talk about, if it got addressed at a later date, if it did, then most likely you are in a healthier relationship, specifically if there was a solution to the topic that you wanted to address. Flip that coin for a second. If the individual says, I don't wanna talk about that now, and it is never discussed again, and it's not resolved, or there's no solution, what would I say there? I would say most likely that person either A, doesn't care about you or the situation, or B, could be a narcissist, don't know. But my point is when you're in any narcissistic relationship, sibling, mom, dad, lover, uh, coworker, friend, acquaintance, wh whoever it is, these people, they what they want to do is they want you to believe that they are there for you when in fact they're not. And remember, every narcissistic relationship has an expiration date, every single one of them. It's just a matter of time when the relationship ends, when you hit the threshold, when you get the wisdom or perhaps if you are discarded or if you pack up and leave or you quit the job, whatever you do. But that's a fact. Every relationship has an expiration date. So again, when you hear the words, I don't wanna talk about that now, just think for a minute. Does the person have time to actually talk about it? If they do, why aren't they talking about it? Think about it. Another thing would be, if they say that to you, I don't wanna talk about that now, and they don't bring it back up themselves, is, it, is that topic important to them? Probably not. And the third thing I will say for this part is, again, you say they, they say to you, I don't wanna talk about that now. Really understand, are you being heard? Is your voice being listened to? Are you being paid attention to? Are you on the, the same, are you headed in the same direction as this individual? Again, it could be your, your spouse, it could be a coworker, it could be your brother, sister, who, who knows, could be a neighbor, could be part of a team or a community. Think about this. Because we all need to be heard on this planet and we all need to express ourselves. And when someone is telling you, I don't wanna talk about that now, and they have the ability to talk about it, they are number one, invalidating you. Number two, they're telling you that you're not a priority. Number three, most likely for this video, they don't want to talk about it because they know that they're they're probably having displaying poor behavior and they don't wanna be accountable. And this is again, another way the narcissist isolates you. Example, let's give you another example. You're at work, your boss is a narcissist, you didn't know it. And you have all this mountain of work you've been doing for the month and you're about to present it to a, a big meeting. And you, and the narcissist, you have, you have to run it past the narcissist. You, have, you just wanna keep them in the loop as to what you're doing. But remember, you're the work part, you're the person that's doing all the work. And you're like, hey, I'm ready, I've got the presentation, I wanna run it past you, just to let you know what we're gonna be doing. And what do they say many times? That's right, you guessed it. I don't wanna talk about this now. Why? Because they don't want you to be heard. <laughs> That's exactly the workplace bully right there. They, the workplace bully literally is a stop-start person. In other words, they'll give you a mountain of work. Will they ever check up on it? Infrequently. Will they give you more and more work to keep you spinning around that hamster wheel? Yeah. And whenever you wanna present it to them, will they be there? No. They're gonna be non-existent. They're gonna be too busy. And guess what? They don't want to talk about it. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's so true. So pay attention to the signs of this, of the thumbnail. I don't wanna talk about it now. You know, there are times in healthier relationships or circumstances, certainly when individuals have the ability to discuss things and they don't wanna talk about it. Maybe something just happened. Maybe there was a, uh, a circumstance that just happened that they could not control. And Yes, even the narcissist at times can say that, well, I'm not prepared for this. I, I didn't see that coming. I get it. But that, those kind of events should happen once or twice in a lifetime. They don't happen every day, week, month, year, decade after decade. And that, again, is a narcissistic relationship. If you are not being heard and you're always being put on hold and you can't get the message across or when you do get the message across, the person doesn't change and you are on that island all by yourself and you're stuck and you're sitting there and you're not making progress, you're not growing. And what's the narcissist doing? They are consuming your energy. And again, I don't wanna talk about that now. Really think about this message because it is so powerful. You need to talk about things. You need to express yourself. You need to bounce things off people that are like-minded and to, so you can get perspective. The narcissist doesn't want you having perspective. They want you having their perspective. They want you an extension, to, to remain an extension of them and to be isolated. So guys, that's the video. I hope you liked it. I loved doing it. From the beautiful Carolinas, this is Andrew. Namaste.
Have a great afternoon. Stay true, stay blessed. Continue to become awakened and aware and understand you are the priority. You come first, second, and third. And if you ever hear the words, I don't want to talk about that now, really take pause and think to yourself, like, can the person talk about it? Will they talk about it? Are they listening to me? Does this happen frequently? Or is it a one-time thing? Really digest this message. It is very important. So guys, no matter where you are on the planet, you are not alone. I love you. God bless you. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right. And I hope the sun wasn't too bright, but this background was so beautiful. I had to shoot it like this. All right. God bless you guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.